everybody, Amy here with Garden Up. Today what I'm going to be doing is tackling this monstrosity behind me. This is a bull thistle. The thing is about six feet tall at the top, which is taller than all the books say it's supposed to be. It's supposed to cap out around five feet, but yeah, this one didn't want to listen to that. Uh, so this is a absolutely mean and vicious biennial plant. Um, I'll show you about how to identify it. So here are some first year bull thistles. You can see that the leaves are kind of egg shaped. They are still spiny. They are very coarse on the top and probably the bottom. The margins have these very mean spines. And so this is not fun to dig up at any point in its life, but you really need to do it, get ahead of it before it gets full grown. Um, but so a biennial has a two year life cycle. This is the first year. The second year is when it shoots upward. And that's what we're dealing with in the front of the house. So here's the plant full grown. You can see the flowers. They're quite large. They get uh, one to two inches. They have spines on the ends of each bract. The flower itself usually is purple or red. It has a lot of sweet nectar down here in this ball, so a lot of horses like to eat it despite the spines. They just chew really carefully. <clears throat> but there's a lot of really sweet nectar in there. Here's one that's just opening. You can see the seeds starting to come out. Winged seeds that float in the wind, and there's the little, the little actual seed right there. So that's what I want to keep from flying around. That's actually really cool that this one's just starting to open. So the other identifying features of this plant are the heavy spines on the leaves again. Ow! It's very, yeah, didn't see that one. Very coarse on the top and the bottom. It also has wings going down the stem. And those wings are also spined. So this is a really, really mean plant to try to get out. But According to what I've read, the root system isn't that deep, so <laughs> we shall see. But in a case like this where the seeds are, the, the flowers have already gone to seed, I'm going to have to be really careful with how I take this out. So let us proceed. So how I'm going to tackle this thing is um, a little bit different because it's already seeding, like actively throwing seeds all over the place. I don't want to just carelessly cut it down. I'm going to first cut all these seeds into my bucket, throw them in the green bin, and then I'm going to cut the rest of the plant down to where I can get to the root and start digging it out. So what I'm going to use are possibly my hand pruners, but probably not. More like uh, loppers. I'll probably use hand pruners for this part. And this is one of the few times you're going to see me wearing gloves because these spines are mean. These things are about a quarter to a half an inch long and they are sharp. So I will be wearing gloves. I will put the spines straight into my bucket. Not the spines. I will be putting the seed heads straight into my bucket. From there, straight into the green bin. I don't want to put these in compost. No, absolutely not. And uh, then I'll be cutting down the branches and collecting it on a tarp. I'm also going to put a tarp underneath so that uh, I can catch anything that falls, hopefully, on the tarp, and then I'll dig it up. I don't know what caused this. There are a whole bunch of ladybugs dead on this thistle. It looks like they were eating aphids but I don't know what caused a whole bunch of ladybugs to just die. There's some webbing, so maybe some spiders made a home here and caught all these ladybugs. That is nature in action right there. Let's actually put all of that in my truck because we're going to need the whole green bin for this.
So, as a matter of interest, pokey things that are modified leaf tissue are called spines. So these are true spines. Cacti have spines because the actual leaves, all they have for leaves, are pokey. So those are spines. These are also spines because they are on the leaf and on the brackets up here. So these are all considered spines. I would also like to point out that almost every single one of these flower heads has this long spine on the side of it. And if I'm getting stabbed, it's that one that's doing it. So fair warning. Cutting all these branches into smaller pieces so that they'll fit in the green bin easier. The smaller the chunks, the more you can get into the bin. thing is. Alright, so we are done cutting. So here's the stump. I cut it down to about a little more than a foot. There's still a few branches on it. Uh, but we're going to finish cleaning up all this grass and then we'll start to dig up this uh, this root ball and see what we're dealing with. <laughs> 